Alrighty then, Successful Indie Author, 5-Minute Focus, Episode 853, Reimagining Another Author's Work. This isn't open source. This isn't where you take H.G. Uh, Wells and just republish that book and list it as open source. No, this is taking an old book like Pride and Prejudice and reimagining, writing a new story with those characters. Make sure, please, make sure that that book is out of copyright and that those characters have not been trademarked more recently, like uh, John Carter, John Carter of Mars, Edgar Rice Burroughs' character, well, long out of copyright. However, some of those characters are, are copyrighted in a way or trademarked in a way that you can't necessarily use them. Or if the state has extended the copyright through machinations and a lot of paperwork. There's all, there's all kinds of ways, like Sherlock Holmes. Yes, original Sherlock Holmes. You can't take any of the new versions and look at it that way. But all those new versions, they're based on the original story. So the most important part about reimagining somebody else's work, like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, is make it a story. Make it a compelling story. Write a great story. Even call it Frankenstein for Pete's sake. Whatever it might be, that's not trademarked, that's not protected right now. But when you upload it, you don't have to list it as open source because it's a new story, even though it's with old characters. So, yes, you can copyright your new story. Just make sure you reference those works. That, hey, based on the original or, or reimagined from the original, just to be up front and above board. Just because you can doesn't mean you should if you're going to rewrite it in a way that uh, is close or, or something like that. To use the original to get eyeballs on your product, but then the new look, how how does it relate to our audiences? How does it take a twist that you saw when you read the original and wasn't in there? Like, hey, this could, I think this could work better, better enough or in a different way appealing to a different section of the audience. <clears throat> so reimagining, <clears throat> it's a great way to dip your toes into the water. However, however, you'll find some folks who, who don't like rewrites of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein or Pride and Prejudice or any of the old classics because they're, they embrace that as bulwarks of the community. This is the classic. You can't fix the class. Not trying to fix it. Just trying to tell a different story set in these time, interesting times, in this interesting world, in this with these interesting characters that need more stories. Ah, different way to look at it. Not quite, not fan fiction in any way, shape, or form because it's a newly copyrighted material. Yes, you can make money off this because the old copyright is extinct, uh, gone out, and you're not doing open source, which is the exact same book. You're just publishing it fresh. No, new story. So write a new and compelling story. So that's what reimagining uh, an original author's work is all about. Do not take anything or do not try anything that's currently in copyright because then it would be fan fiction. And if you try to make money off it and some authors don't really embrace fan fiction because it's not new canon, it's not new stories, it's not their stories, and especially if they're still alive, holy cow, yeah, you don't want to do that. So don't take anything modern. Do not try to rewrite Harry Potter. Do not try to rewrite other books that that uh, uh, aren't ready for it yet. So you got to wait uh, uh, 75 years beyond the death of the author. So it may be one bridge too far. So look back, not forward, to see what you can uh, see what you can do. All right there, you go. Reimagining. We've all read great classics. We've all read them and thought, hey, I think this is a, there's a different story in here. And uh, if so. Maybe tackle it. Maybe tackle it with a short story and just throw it out there and let people think and let people see your your style of how you can how you can write. Take a great character and do great things with them. All right. Reimagining. Easy day. Peace, fellow humans.